Well, hi, this is Frank Furness with Tools and Tips. And today we're going to be speaking about something really important, how to get that job, how to get hired. Have you ever thought about what the interviewers are doing and how they hire you? Well, you know, there are all different kinds of interviewers. The first type is a gut instinct interviewer. These people are quick to make decisions about you. You know, sometimes you walk in and within 10 minutes they'll say to you, you know what, I like you. I think you're the right person for the job. They have a lot of the favorite questions that they ask. If they don't like you or if there's no rapport, they'll finish the interview quickly and they don't speak too much about the job. They want to know, do they like you? Are you going to fit in with them and with their team? So here are some tips if you get one of those. Work on your appearance and first impression. Remember, you don't get a second chance to make a first impression. It's how you look. Do your shoes shine? What do your nails look like? Is your hair combed? Uh, what does your breath smell like? I mean, all of these things make a first appearance and will have an impact on that person who's a gut instinct type of interviewer. So look good, act with confidence, and I want to tell you a smile never goes wrong. You then get the personal and feeling type of interviewers. They really want to know more about you. They want to know about your values, your feelings. Will your values be the same as that of the company? Will you fit in well to the team? They want to know about you, your personal qualities. They want to know how you think, how you feel, how you react to certain situations. They want to know about your character. Are you the right kind of person for that organization? So yeah, I would recommend go into the organization's website. Try and find out as much as you can about them. Take a look at some of the people so that you know what you're talking about. You know, I'm amazed how many people go for job interviews and they haven't even looked at the website. We've got all of the tools now. Go in and study the company that you should be thinking about joining. If you can, try and find out any information about the person that's going to be interviewing you. Who's the company? Do they have favorite charities? Do they give to any organizations? So be prepared to speak about your values and how they can contribute to the position you're applying for and to the company. Remember, these people want to know how you're going to help the organization. The next one is your conversational interviewers. Now, these people, they move from topic to topic, and it just sounds like they're in easy conversation. Be very careful because they could lull you into dropping your guard and saying things that you don't want to say. They're very easy going, very conversational, and they'll talk about the job, the work, the culture, the team. They'll be pretty informal, and they're very relationship-based type of people. They'll ask general questions about your career. So some tips with these people. Be prepared to think on your feet. Be prepared and professional. And also be confident. Be confident without being arrogant. There's a big difference over there. And be very friendly and conversational. And then you get behavior-based interviewers. Now these people are very analytical. They're going to ask you lots and lots of detailed questions. They'll take notes. They'll use all kinds of assessment tools, put you through all kinds of tests. They'll want to know in detail about your past work experience. All of the questions are going to be linked to the job. So not so many personal, but more how is this going to help the organization. They're very fact-oriented, very objective, and almost the total opposite to the gut instinct or the personal type of interviewer. So over here, really before you go in, know all of your skills. Be prepared. Have a great CV. Know what your competencies are and how they're going to add value to the organization. What are your people skills? How are your people skills going to add to the organization? How are they going to add value? Use statements like, I am competent at whatever it is, so I will be able to do this in the organization. I am competent at working with Microsoft Word. So I'll be able to fit in well to the administration department and help everyone in the organization. Remember, sometimes you're going to be seeing three or four different interviewers. Try quickly to find out what they are and how you've got to adapt. Some interviewers will use some different tactics as well. They might use some behavior together with some personal. So the biggest thing here is really preparing yourself. Some real no-nos 
Don't talk about your personal problems. That will put them off immediately. The worst thing you can do is talk about salary. What kind of car am I going to get? What kind of salary am I going to get? Because then they're going to be thinking this person's looking at us not for a long-term career, just to make more money. Don't speak about anything controversial like religion, sex, age or gender. And don't make any negative reference to anybody or any organizations. So really prepare yourself before you go for that next job interview. By the way, thanks for watching this video and I've got some great free downloads for you if you go to http www.frankfurness.com forward slash free underscore downloads dot cfm. There's lots and lots of ebooks. In fact, there's one or two wonderful ebooks that will help you to prepare yourself personally for some of the interviews. Think and Grow Rich. Uh, there's lots of other great books there as well. In fact, there you can see there's some of the books. Uh, there's lots of books. There's lots of software. There's another place you can go to frankfurnessresources.com, another place where I've put out lots of videos, lots of tips, and lots of free resources for you. There you can see there's all kinds of resource, uh, resources for you. There's software, there's newsletters, uh, there's headline creator that will help you to make headlines. So there are the two freebies I've given you, frankfurnace.com forward slash free underscore downloads dot cfm and frankfurnaceresources.com. Well, good luck with that job interview. Let me know how it goes. And if you found this to be of value, drop me an email, frank at frankfurnace.com. Hey, thanks for watching.